Good morning. Today we're going to do a project on famous Arkansans. There are many famous individuals from Arkansas. Some people were born here while others moved here. This project will allow you to research an Arkansan who is considered well known throughout the state, nation, or the world. You will use encyclopediaofarkansas.net to begin your research. You might have to find other sources to help you during your research. You're going to find the following things. The birth date, birth place, childhood information, university attended, military service, accomplishments, family life, date of death, and why you chose this person. The birth date and birth place, that will be um, easy to find. Childhood information. Some people might have information on their childhood, others might not, and you might have to go find other sources to see if they have any information on their childhood. Not all of the people went to college or university, so the university attended uh, might be, might have some information, other people might not have any information at all on them. Same thing with the military service. Some people did serve in our military, others did not. Um, when we get to the accomplishments, this is what you know they, these people are known for. Uh, what they did to become well known. Uh, were they a sports star? Uh, were they a famous author? Um, were they a general in the military? A scientist who came up with new, some new study or research? Whatever it might be, but what accomplishments made them uh, well known and what we'd call famous? Family life. Uh, find out if they were married, if they had any kids, whatever that might be. The date of death will be easy to find. And then the last thing is why you chose this person. You know, what is your interest in this person? Why did you choose this person to research? So I'm going to kind of show you how to get started um, on this project I did not do a PowerPoint uh, to show everything but I'm going to step I'm going to walk you through everything and tell you what you need to have you can do this in a PowerPoint you can handwrite it it's whatever you would like to do uh, for this project to show the information that you find so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to encyclopediaofarkansas.net And this is what the website looks like. Okay, now you can go through and you can browse everything, uh, browse entries, and it's alphabetically, category type, time period, race, ethnicity, gender. Uh, there are media which have pictures or videos, maps, charts, whatever. Uh, here's some things. What is new? To me, the best way to do this is go to advanced search. Click on it. Now, from here we can look at several things. Uh, keyword, you really do not have to put in the keyword right now unless you know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, go down to where it says type. And we want to find a person. Now, you hit subject we're going to have a lot of subjects to talk about these are all arts and it has subcategories we have like architecture architects uh, you come on down we still in arts we have music and then it's subdivided down into like uh, blues classical and opera country folk um, whatever it might be so there's all the arts here's business people that have you know business leaders civil rights we have um, all the leaders that have helped uh, get civil rights passed back in the 1960s and even still working on it today uh, really don't need to know the counties you know cities and towns education you can find people that have helped out education in Arkansas um, exploration and archaeology folklore really don't need you can go into the government politics. We have the governors, acting governors, lieutenant governors, um, senators, representatives. So you can look up those people. You can come on down. We have law. You can look up 
judges, famous lawyers, whatever. Then we have literature and authors. You can find authors. You have media and broadcasting. So if there's anybody that you want to look up in the media, that's fine. Military, same way. Generals, soldiers, whatever that might be. And then we have recreation and sports. You have baseball, basketball. It's broken down into other things. We have religious stuff. We have medical uh, people, doctors, researchers, whatever. So we have a lot of different things to look through. You get to choose what interests you. I'm just going to kind of give you an example on, let's do recreation and sports. So, I can click on recreation and sports, and I can hit search. So, it's going to bring up people that are associated with recreation and sports. So, you can go through here and you can see that we have many people from Arkansas in this. Now, the cool thing is, if I know exactly which sport, let's go down to baseball, and then search. Now it's just baseball players. And let's click on Lou Brock. Now I already know a little bit about Lou Brock because I'm a Cardinals fan, and he played for the St. Louis Cardinals. So, here we go. Now, what is Lou Brock's connection to Arkansas? Well, second paragraph, Lou Brock was born on June 18, 1939 in El Dorado. So, that is the connection. Okay? So, there is his birth date and birthplace. Now, if we go back to our little guide, so we go back um, to his childhood information, and you can look right here that after Brock's father left the family, uh, they moved to Louisiana, where he grew up in poverty and segregation. So, here's some childhood inf uh, information. Then it says universities attended. Um, he attended Southern University at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, the next one is military service, and he did not uh, serve in the military, so you can just put did not serve in the military. Now, accomplishments. Lou Brock accomplished some major things. First of all, he is in the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame and also the National Baseball Hall of Fame. He set records. I'm trying to find it right here. 1974, he stole 118 bases, uh, setting a single season record. He also broke Ty Cobb's stolen base record. He finished with 938 stolen bases. He was also the 14th player in history to reach 3,000 career hits. So, that were some of, those were some of his accomplishments. Family life, he talks a little bit about his family life right now. His third wife, Jacqueline, they live in Missouri. He's still alive. So, when it comes to the death, date of death, you can put person is still alive. Now, why did I choose this person? Well, I chose Lou Brock because I'm a Cardinals fan, and uh, he is just interesting that he, he's very interesting that he's from Arkansas. So, that is one. Now, we can also, because this is pretty easy, let's go back and let's check another one. So, we're back here to the advanced search. Let's do Here's literature. Literature and authors. But still, we're doing a person. And we're going to search. Now, I do know of one author that I will read. I'm not much of a reader, but when I get one of his books, it's pretty good. His name is John Grisham. So, we can click on John Grisham. And again, here is some information. Again, what's his connection to Arkansas? He was born in Jonesboro, February 8th, 1955. So, you can read through here and find some more stuff. Some of you might have seen uh, some of his movies. Uh, he wrote the book and then they turned them into movies. Uh, the Time to Kill, Pelican Brief, The Client, The Chamber, The Rainmaker, The Runaway Jury. These are really good books and movies also. 
So, this is what you're going to do today. You're going to find somebody from Arkansas that is famous, well-known, and you're going to research them. So, I want you to take the rest of the class to research, and again, you can put it in PowerPoint form. You can handwrite it out on notebook paper. You can type it up in a Word document. It, that part does not matter to me. So, y'all get to work and have it turned in at the end of class. Thank you.